Hi, this is the uh, instructor video for the single complex shape. I'm hoping to get you some more practice with the selection tools and the pen tool. Uh, the finished product is nothing to write home about, but it is a fantastic way to have some errors, some ways to fix things, and to get you started on the right path, and also to continually practice using the tools. So the first thing I'll do, and if you notice, I don't have... Um, an actual like JPEG here. I'm actually looking at the sheet of paper here on my desk. And I want to also kind of train your eye to just look at things, get a rough sense of how big is big. Uh, again, this is nothing too um, crazy with what you'll be delivering to me, but I want to train your eye to look at something and be able to draw it in Illustrator. Uh, I'll start off with a new document, which is File New. Um, I will take a look at the original set, and I'll notice that this is actually more landscape than portrait, which means I want to, the original doc would have set up by eight and a half by 11. I'm going to make sure that this is switched over to 11 by eight and a half. And of course, CMYK 300 pixels per inch. I'll say okay to that. I'll save my document as single complex shape 01. Say okay. I already had one out here. I'll say okay to all this stuff in Illustrator 6. Quick note that uh, make sure you're saving this in the proper version. Um, Illustrator is version controlled, meaning that if you have Illustrator CS5 or 4 somewhere around, you will not be able to open up a document that was created in Adobe Illustrator CC or CS6. It's a little bit different than Photoshop, so do be uh, aware of that um, possibility for conflict. And we'll say OK to this. And I want to just start my document off with the pen tool. I have actually hidden this. It's hidden underneath the convert anchor points for my little demo to myself prior to doing this. I'm going to only be using a stroke here. I don't want the fill. The fill could actually get in the way of me seeing uh, what I'm trying to draw. So I'll turn that off here to none and I'll make sure that my stroke is set here. Uh, and just because I can, I will pop over and I'll make this a two-point stroke. It might be a little bit easier to see for you guys on screen. So uh, I'm going to turn my rulers on, Control-R, and I know this thing is approximately the bounding box. is a little bit of a rectangle, so this will give me something to help me gauge how big is big. Things get unwieldy quickly here. Nothing, again, to be overly concerned with. Again, just practice and getting some stuff around here. So my pen tool is out. Stroke is set two point uh, black here. No fill. I will click and then no dragging. Uh, I just want the anchor point. I don't want Bezier curves here to start off with. I will then also hold down the shift key and click. And if you can see the little bit of piece here where it says anchor and guide, it's in light green text, might be a little bit difficult to see. This is because I have my, uh, oops, excuse me, my smart guides turned on. These help me know what's an intersection, whatever. It also helps me line up things as I go. I'm going to purposefully create this document. Let me control Z out of this. Um, to be a little bit off and then go back in and fix it rather than struggling over every square inch from the get-go. So it's click, shift key, click. Uh, go up to here, shift, click. Now hold down the shift key, click, and I can come back. I want to either hit the guide or I can see that it actually says intersection here. I don't want to be way down here. If you, the closer you can get, the better, but we do want to be able to go back and edit this later. later. Click, again, shift, click. Now, if we notice, this is the beginning of a curve, but this particular point doesn't have the Bezier curve. So it is then just click here. I'm going to go up where it lines up at the top, and I'm going to click and then hold down the shift key and drag this way. I want the curves, the Bezier handles, to be of equal length. I'll let go, come back down here to my guide, Click OK. Again, no dragging on this one. Let's just get something just kind of way out here. Give myself a little bit more room. Click, 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 click. Go out past here to click. Back in, click, 
uh, over to here somewhere along there now if I know if I wanted these to line up straight on the money I would have had to put a guideline in there beforehand but we're pretty much okay with that I'm gonna stay away from the bottom a little bit give myself some more room uh, I will click here to get the bottom corner and now as I go out I need to and if you notice this is a little bit off because I did not hold the shift key let me hit control Z there and hold for my last point I will then click and get that right uh, it's good to just get your right hand doing the pen tool and your left hand if, if you are right-handed like me uh, using the keyboard here so let's get out to our first piece of this a uh, little bit more complex shape click here go up and as before now watch like I don't want the handles to be flipped over and inverted I want to make sure they're going the right way with the curve let go of that I can then come back down to where this point is make just make the single click I'll actually give this a little bit of a pull if I want some more flourish I can always get rid of it I'll show you that in a minute come down here this here back up to here this is the tough part where I'm going to wish that I had uh, a line here to get me straight back on here so let's actually pop out now and say oh my god uh, you know need to fix something here uh, let's get a, another line that snapped to the path here that's my guide now if I click this with the direct selection tool to highlight this again because I will I don't want to start a new path I want to actually continue the, the line that I have started go back to my pen tool and then if I click over here on my guide oops let's start here I'm going to undo that I'm going to click on the end anchor point and notice that these pieces here are again activated pop over to here I know there's a mistake but we're going to go back and fix that let's get this out to here shift key got a little bit of a double camel hump if you will here click and drag down to here then go up to here click and drag back down to my line I missed it I'll pull that out later go down to my corner here so what you're seeing is that it's although I'm purposefully trying to get pretty close and we'll stop right there because notice this is not a cur this is not a full um, compound shape it's actually just a series of lines all right let's click here I'm going to turn my guides off just to get visually out of here a couple things that may help you while you're doing this if you want a grid in the background you can go to view get my show grid down here or I can use the keyboard shortcut control uh, quote mark or just like I use control semicolon to get my guides off and on in Photoshop I can also do control this have a nice grid this may actually help you when you're lining things up um, your choice is up to you put my guides back on which is and I want to go back in and obviously fix this this is pretty close but there's some pretty uh, out of proportion elements here uh, let's fix this top one so this is done with the direct selection tool I don't want to actually move the whole shape with the selection tool which you click here and I'd be stuck with this type of effect command Z to undo that I want to click off in a blank area get my direct selection tool then click this and just tweak this stuff a little bit get it so it's a little more proportioned correctly all right I'm gonna come down here these all look okay for what we're trying to do here this hump here uh, let's, I'm gonna hold down the shift key as I move it left to right here this type of thing and get that a little more proportioned still not quite right I'll actually move the bottom and hold the shift key down now from here this is okay what I want to do is actually just this point when I click on it only has one handle because I stopped what I was doing in the middle here to go uh, something else I came back and I have a kind of lopsided event here I need to get this curve back here so what I can do is click underneath the pen tool itself go down to the bottom convert anchor point and I can actually click on this here on the anchor itself and then drag then I let go now it has two handles 
and I can go back to my direct selection tool and get this thing straightened out as much as possible. It's still a little bit off, but it's substantially closer and I now have the flexibility I wanted. One handle is a little bit longer than the other. Rule of thumb is when you're clicking and dragging, I'll make a quick thing over here on the side with a new pen tool piece, new line. It's just click about one third of the line. So don't make your handles really short like this. It's very, very unwieldy and don't make them too short too short uh, they become clicking on this got to straighten this out they, they really um, get bent pretty quick if you make them too short lines get choppy so think about the way that these things are leaning the a good rule of thumb again about one third let me highlight this delete my little piece there I'll go through I would go in then here a to click this then straighten this thing out, get these two humps to be about equal. You guys will spend more time than do I have a little bit of, let me zoom in here. You can hit to Z, zoom in, back to A, and pull this down. It will snap right to the guide, and that gets me perfectly aligned where I was off before. So don't get too caught up if it's not perfect at first. This is what's great about Illustrator. I'm going to constantly be saving as I go. All right, and turn off my guides. Uh, almost good. I'd have to do a little bit more work down in this area here, but this is perfect for uh, the single complex shape. Thanks.